Hey everybody, we are deep in the Blue Mountains right now, which is a heritage listed part of the world. Um, this is about one to two hours west of Sydney, about 100 kilometers. Um, today, uh, we're heading down here. This is a motorcycle rescue. Um, one of my friends uh, borrowed a motorcycle from me and um, uh, it's taken him about a week to tell me that it fell off a ravine and is somewhere down there. Uh, it might not even still be there actually. Someone might have stolen it or stripped it um, since then. Um, the police, it seems, have been involved. Um, but, um, but because it is my motorbike, uh, we want to try and retrieve it. So this is extreme motorcycle retrieval. Um, let's go and let's go find a motorbike. So when you're wandering around in the Australian bush, we do have all sorts of stuff that will kill you, like crazy people and snakes and spiders and stuff. So we have let a couple of people know where we're going. Um, I've also just got kind of basic supplies here, um, water, some food, some straps in case we've got to winch the bike out a little bit. If you do ever find yourself walking in the bush in Australia, or particularly the Blue Mountains, um, you can go to the local police station, like up at Katoomba, and get an e perb which is basically a thing that means if if something bad happens, you can hit uh, hit a little button. Uh, and also, a snake bite kit is actually a really good idea. I don't have either of those things, um, but you should. Now this kind of track, this would be pretty gnarly even on like a proper dirt bike, like a WR or something, which is what I, I have. I've got a WR 250. Um, but the bike that I'm going to rescue is actually a Super Cub. Now, Super Cubs are made for some fairly brutal kind of riding, hence why CT110 is one of the most like mass-produced long-term bikes of all time. It's not meant for this kind of, um, it's not meant for this kind of riding, hence why it's down here. Now, if it doesn't start, then I'm gonna have to push slash carry it out of here, which is gonna be a tough gig. I don't know if you can see how steep this is, but it would be hard even just, just walking up here with a pack on. Uh, it's steep, but hopefully, if it's still there and hasn't been stolen or hasn't been stripped, Hopefully I can actually get it started and then I can at least use a bit of um Use a bit of momentum from the bike to help me get back up this hill Well, we got some good news people it, It's still there. It's looking a little bit worse for wear But there it is on the side of this cliff. So uh, <laughs> let's go and let's go get it All right, okay, we're gonna make our way across this creek. I was gonna say without getting wet, but I think I'm actually just gonna get wet. Here we go. Yes. Yes. Yes, I'm across people. I am across. It's around here somewhere. Where is it? There she is. There it is. Okay. All right. Oh, my poor little super cub. Poor little super cub. You all right, buddy? We're gonna get you out. I know you're not feeling that good. One step at a time. All right. I have two options. I throw you off the cliff, which is the easier option. Or I drag your ass back sometimes. Life means taking the harder option. I'm gonna drag your ass back. All right, let's do this. I'll just put a strap on it so it doesn't go any further. And then put that strap up here. It's a safety strap. All right, let's get that sorted. All right. Just to see if we... Take the strain. It's coming up. Okay. Whoop. If you drop it now, I'll die, just so you know. Okay, uh, I think we're in gear. Oh, we got no front brakes either. Okay, hold on. 
One, two, three, up. Yep, good. Again, one, two, three. Yep, hold it there. Stick it into the mud. So one, two, three, up. Okay, just got to get over this log. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. That's the first part. It's two hours. I reckon it's going to be three, three to four hours out. Hopefully it's not going to be that hard. Hopefully try and get started. You can hear something happening. Oh, Honda. Honda, you beautiful thing. Woo! All right, we got no brakes. Oh, it lives on, everybody. It lives on. I just want, I want to turn it around. I'm just going to send it, man. I'm just, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So we got the bike from over there, up on the cliff, up there, we got it down there, across the creek, and now it's sitting here, but um, currently can't get it any further. It was working, but I think now the battery's flat, so it's just too steep, it's just too steep to get up there, so I'm going to bring back reinforcements and either try and get it out by putting a new battery in and making it work, front brake, or just disassemble it and pull it out in parts or just leave it but I don't want to do that because it's bad for the environment and bad for my spirit that wants to win I feel so defeated walking out of this galley without a motorbike because it's not how I imagined it was going to be but by the time it stopped working and wouldn't start, trying to push it out of here just would have been madness. They only weigh about 100 kilos, those bikes. But um, even that short distance from pulling it up the side of that cliff and then getting it down across the creek is probably only 80 metres. But it took hours and I'm just so fatigued now and I've run out of water and I've run out of food. And so it's just not a good idea to stay out here in the middle of the Australian bush when you're even not that prepared. And I'm exhausted. My shirts are saturated. And uh, I'm gonna come back with some other supplies and um, some extra manpower. And we are going to get it out. We are. Okay, everyone, it's been two days, uh, but we're back with uh, reinforcements. Um, you might recognize some of these people or you might not. Uh, my friend Ross, um, Isaac, of course. My friend Ramey, who's a local. Danielle, is it? Yeah. Yeah, who's a local as well. So these guys live up in the mountains and they're like, we'll come give you a hand. You live up in the mountains here I as well? I do, yeah. Love it. Grew up here. Been a scout, all those sort of cool fun things. So this is my backyard. Awesome. And, and four-wheel driving as well? Oh, I love it, yeah. I get out in my Volkswagen Amarok and, you know, get it nice and muddy. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, it's good fun, man. Oh, nice. Right. Yeah. And thank you. I literally called Isaac... Um, 30 minutes ago? Yeah, like 30 minutes ago. Um, and, in the shed. and here he is. This is Danielle. I've never met you before until today. 
Um, but thank you for coming. Awesome. Uh, she lives in the mountains and volunteered to help. Um, what do you do up here? Uh, I, I work as a, a trauma counsellor up here and I'm mates with uh, Ross. Is he good? Yep. And uh, yeah, totally excited about the adventure and see what awaits us. Yes, you know? oh, thank you very much for coming on short notice as well. That's amazing. Now, good times. Thank you. <laughs> uh, this is my friend Raimi, everybody. Hey, um, he's yeah. a graphic designer. Do you also have an Amarok? I do. You do? Yeah. You're not as happy with your Amarok though, are you, as Isaac is with no, his? I've got, uh, I've got a lot of a long list of complaints, but that's ma mainly due, due to the car dealership. How much experience do you have with motorcycle retrieval? This, this could be um, <laughs> getting on to the first job. Okay. <laughs> so. This is one of my best mates, Ross. We've been riding motorbikes together for years. Now might be the time to tell you that it's possible that the bike has been stolen, right? since we were here the other day. It's been 48 hours since we were here last time. And I mean, if someone stole it though, full credit to them for getting it out. You know what I mean? The so, camera probably doesn't do it justice. But it, it, it's it's, I mean, it's a, it's a huge hill, people. It's, it's hard to see, but it's, it's huge. So if it's not there and you stole it, congratulations. Um, because that's very impressive. <laughs> I've definitely acknowledged the steepness of this. <laughs> yes, okay. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty extreme, isn't it? And the muddy, uh, the, the non-traction. <laughs> yes. So we're hoping that um, we, we've got a, a battery for it. We're hoping that we can get it started and then we can kind of give some pedal assistance to help us get up here. I say pedal assistance, but, you know, I mean like motor assistance. Oh, yes, okay. We're still there. We're in business, people. Okay. Of course, at the absolute lowest point... But, okay, whoop, we made it. Time to get you out of here, old girl. What are you doing next weekend, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I got some other trails we could try that probably as successful as this one. Thanks, mate. It's, uh... All good, bro. Excellent. That happened. Yeah. All right. Right. It's just Honda reliability. Amazing. <laughs> does it fit? Yes, it does. You, you do like outdoor ed, right? Like yeah. Uh, push adventure doing. therapy. So take oh. bush people. adventure that therapy. Young awesome. teenagers into the bush. Well, what we need to do is make this a loop, so okay. then we can girth hitch it properly around the tree. Girth so hitch it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm keen for a girth hitch. Yeah. Yep. So what I need to do is work out how we can get this like this. So what we can do is just do an overhand knot. And that'll do the trick, I reckon. That's what I was thinking. I was saying that to Isaac yeah, before. Yeah, we were talking about that earlier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great. That is so good. So I'll just take the tension. Oh, the winch for the win. It's not working hard at all. And it's just so muddy today too. We got a couple of people at the front with a toe strap and there's a few people around the bike. So we got five of us all up, which feels like should only be about 20 kilos each, which doesn't sound like a lot of weight, but what we're going up is super steep. Yeah. And we're stuck. I think it's possible. Yeah. That's it, people. Believe it or not, as cliche as it sounds, it's teamwork. Sometimes when you can't get something done by yourself, actually ask for help. And uh, 
people are willing to help, you know. You kind of feel like, oh, everyone's got better things to do. If you need help, you can ask for help. Um, not just with a motorbike, but with stuff that goes on in your life as well. And um, I'm very proud to be an ambassador for Reach Out, which is a charity in Australia uh, which supports uh, the mental health of young people and their families. Uh, if you or someone you know is struggling, you can check out the Reach Out website, which I'll put down below. And um, And we did it. Feels very good.